Hey everybody, my name is Chris and um, I'm a developer here at Sierra Interactive and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, the Google Analytics debugging tool to make sure your GA changes and your GA code changes actually work bef without having to actually wait 24 hours for the data to show up. Um, we're going to do that uh, using the Google Analytics debugging tool and uh, so why don't we just get started. So on the left hand side here I have the web page in question. Um, on the right hand side at the top I have um, the HTML that goes with the page and at the bottom I have the Apache log so that when I actually go to the page and we refresh it you'll see some stuff happening. So we'll see the HTML runs, uh, grabs the picture and then it tries to grab the favorite icon uh, but we don't have one so it's not there. No big deal. Let's take a quick look at the HTML first. Down here, somewhere on line 121, okay, this is our Google Analytics code. This is the first top half of it. This sets off the account and starts to track our page views. The second half is actually at the bottom. You're allowed to split it and that's okay. Alright, so this is our it's a form. And somebody fills in the form, hits the submit button, and it sends them off to a PDF uh, file. What we want to do is we want to be able to track when somebody hits that submit button and gets our PDF. That's what we want to track. So um, to do that, you're going to need to get the Google Analytics debugging tool. To get that, just type in Google Analytics debugger Chrome into Google. And I think it's the first link. Yep, there it is. Go ahead and install that plugin, and what you need to do is have it turned on. So you just kind of right click on it and turn it on. My plugin's already turned on, so I'm ready to go. Now that we're ready to go, I'm just going to hit refresh one more time. All right, great. And I'm going to right click on any part of the page and go to inspect element. Now, the first thing it's going to do is going to send me to the elements page. We want to click over to the console uh, page, like this and you can see that this console page actually shows us everything that's happening in Google Analytics. Let me move this over. So here's our tracking code and there it is. There's our tracking code uh, as reported by Google Analytics. It tracks the page view and there it is again. It's tracking our page view. The rest of the stuff is mostly the information kind of parsed out from this giant URL. Um, the hit ID, referring URL, page, the time, the session time, local time, uh, what my browser is, you know, things like that sort. What we're going to be doing is we're going to fill in the form and what we want to see is our tracking code, or I'm sorry, our virtual page view right here show up on the bottom of this list as soon as we hit that submit button. So we're looking for, again, tracking page view, this URL, and we're looking for it way down here at the bottom. So let's go try it out. I'm going to type in a form, test, 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 Type in my email address, which is very much not an email address, but that's okay. And hit submit, and it should show up here. Now, this is going to show up pretty quick because this is going to refresh and immediately go to a PDF, which means all this information on the screen is going to go away. But I'm going to rewind the tape for us so that we can actually see it, and I'll show you how it works. Ready? So I'm going to hit submit now. Boom. There you go. Did you see it? You might have missed it. That's okay. You'll notice that when we hit submit, it did actually go to the form, register uh, through the third-party um, data collection stuff for the uh, for the form, and it gave us back the PDF. So we know that the form itself worked, and we're pretty sure that our tracking worked too. But I'm going to rewind the tape and check, make sure that works. So this is ScreenFlow. Um, this is the program I used to record this video. Um, but what I'm really interested in seeing is I'm going to slow down time and I want to swatch exactly um, the processing happen. So I'm right here right at the point before I hit the submit button and I'm just going to scroll this over a little bit until I area about hit submit now. Oh, there it is. I hit submit and you can see our track page view and our URL is registered with Google and it actually sent the tracking beacon. You'll notice it hasn't refreshed the page just yet. I'm going to scroll a little bit further. Oh, there it is. It just refreshed the page. It grabbed the PDF. 
all of our information is gone and you'll see the browser just about here there it goes renders the PDF and that's it so now we definitely know this worked so we can probably push this out um, to the real website and uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work now so that's it um, hopefully it'll help you guys out and without having to wait 24 hours I'll talk to you guys later